The minister who says the importance of the training could not be overemphasized, describing it as the driver to excellence, professionalism, and discipline. Lieutenant General Idris Belladon Bazao retired, assured that the ministry, being the outfit supervising Nigeria Immigration Service, will continue to do its utmost to support immigration service to achieve its constitutional mandate. He held the collaborative effort of the donor agency and charged the Comptroller General not to relent in his commitment commitment to training and retraining of the officers and men of the service with a view to standing on their toes. My special thanks first goes to the General Agency, GID, for their continuous support and collaborative joint sponsorship of courses and the provision of working tools to all security agencies in the nation to ensure the security of government and people of Nigeria. The minister congratulated the officers and admonished them against anything capable of portraying paramilitary outfit in bad light. On his part, the controller general of the service, Muhammad Babandere, said within a year of his stewardship, he has initiated three specialized training because of the urgent need to provide adequate security at the country's border in order to put a full stop to the movement of illegal immigrants trooping into Nigeria without requisite traveling documents. For the first time in our career as a service, we are able to get enough vehicles to start and take the patrol. The Honorable Minister has taken cases to the Federal Executive Council and we have been able to get 160 patrol vehicles for the service. He revealed that the graduating officers were drawn from all 36 state of the Federation, the Federal Capital Territory, and the service headquarters after thorough screening. Elia, the commandant of the Immigration Training School, Colonel Mr. Ajisafe, decried on the condition of the school, particularly as rain has set in, appealing to the minister to come to the aid with a view to providing conducive atmosphere for teaching and learning, wishing the minister and his contingent safe journey to their various destinations. Nura Ahmad Dakata reporting.